Okay, this video will be a little bit different than normal uh, because it's on a different computer that we have here at the shop. Uh, and this is just gonna go over how to do the 8L90 uh, tuning since the Blue Cat tool doesn't populate it properly. Okay, so you're gonna do everything just like normal. You know, 8L90, set your RPMs, set your gear ratio, your tire size. Make sure you set 04 and up truck. Well, when you go to hit export, which you would normally do, there's nothing here, okay. Let's go to, let's see, you can't, you can't get any of this to populate. So that you just leave alone. What you end up doing is copying, pasting things, which I know is unfortunate, but it does work. So these tables that are green are the ones that you're gonna change. So, when you go back to your blue cat tool, you will see that this is the higher speed, this is the upshift, this is the downshift, okay? This is torque converter apply, this is torque converter release, okay? Anything that's wide open throttle, you just use these numbers here along the edge. Uh, very simple to type in, very simple to copy and paste. Okay, you do your, all these tables that are green here, you do these tables here for your full throttle apply release, your regular apply release um, for the trans tuning here. Um, one of the things that you're not gonna have is you're not gonna have an RPM, which kind of sucks because this is gonna take a little bit of logging to get figured out properly. You can see here we have this exact truck set to 6,500. Now, you can take and just copy in these numbers into here. Uh, but more than likely they're not going to be close so what i do is first i set them 100 rpms lower so if i got 6500 here i set all of these to 6400 i'm sorry hold on i'll go back one so i set these to 6400 okay then you go test do a wide open throttle pass okay uh, if for any reason it gets stuck in a gear where it doesn't want to go to second or doesn't want to go to third or doesn't want to go to fourth lower this rpm by 100 to 2 rpm 100 to 200 rpm until it shifts then you'll know where your correct rpm is for that because unfortunately the way the blue cat tool works is it doesn't actually set it up perfectly for what rpm you select which kind of sucks but those of you that are familiar with the blue cat tool will know that because you'll have 6500 put in all the way here but then your data will have you at way different rpms so if you have any questions that is the base 8l90 tuning uh, to get your wheel speed correct and your RPM correct and gear ratio and everything else.